Hey everybody, this is Scott with GuitarAndBass.com. Appreciate you checking out this video and taking the time to view it. Today I want to talk about a question that has come up um, every so often. And that is, if I want to learn bass, should I learn guitar first? You know why I like this question? It tells me that the person asking this question uh, their desire and their motivation is in the right place. They, they already know they want to learn bass, right? And now they want to know the best way to do it. So they're kind of doing a little research, asking some questions. Now it's an interesting question because, and, and I'm just speculating here, this is, this is what I think the person or people asking this question might be thinking. And that is, you know, I've, I know that some of the most famous bass players at one point in time were guitar players and then became bass players. Uh, I'm thinking of, well, you know, like maybe Paul McCartney, um, the bass player for Jimi Hendrix, can't think of his name, Noel something, Redding, Noel Redding, uh, and others, right? Because like in the interviews of these bass players, they'll say, well, yeah, I was, yeah, I was a, I was playing a guitar player, but I wasn't as good as, you know, so-and-so, so I went to the bass. And I think that makes for a great story but it may, you know, I think it, in, a, in a sense it may, may, from a historical anecdote, maybe color um, the actual reality of bass playing. But it's a valid, you know, it's a valid point. Like, right? well, should I try to do guitar first and bass? And I'm going to share with you my experience. And for the sake of full disclosure, my first instrument is guitar. But I've always played bass as well. But I have to say my you know my main I would consider myself a guitarist who loves to play bass. And I want to explain to you what what I've experienced in in that sense. And for you, if you're just starting out and you're getting in the bass, I want to encourage you to stay there. Okay? And here here's a couple reasons why. Well, first of all, the bass is unique. You know, it's not it's not like a guitar with four strings, although it you know it has the same intervallic tuning. It's not it's its own unique instrument, and it serves its own special role in the musical ensemble. I mean, it's the timekeeper. It supports the harmonic and melodic content of the whole band. So I think of the bass like the captain of the ship. You know, you've got your engines, you've got your rudder, you've got your, you know, your, your deck mates and all that stuff. But the captain runs everything. And because, of the, because it's the timekeeper and because of the low frequencies, where the bass goes, the band goes. And you could also say, well, that has also with the drummer. True. That's true. And it, you know, they kind of have similar roles. But I would argue that the bass can take that band anywhere it wants to go with um, the power of the low frequencies add to it the, the ability to play notes and direct the harmony so the bass is a unique instrument and it is so important again arguably maybe the most important instrument in the band in terms of just the overall foundation of the band Okay, so that, that would be my, my statement that, okay, it's not necessary to learn guitar first. If you know that you want to play bass, you've got this desire to play, go for it. Learn it. It's its own instrument and worthy of that pedestal, if you will. Okay, so that's point number one. Um, now, here I think, Again, from a guitar player, always playing bass, loving bass, but primarily a guitar player. Here is what I've experienced. The advantages to just being a bass player. As a guitarist, I constantly have to fight the tendency when I'm playing bass to not, try, to not play like a guitar player. You see, a guitar player, I mean, I, that's why I love guitar playing, because you basically dance around the band you get to do kind of whatever you want. If you've got a good rhythm section, 
Sometimes you play with them. Sometimes you go off and do whatever you want. Sometimes you play with the keyboards. You, you don't have to keep time because you have the rhythm section. So you get to just, you know, kind of like a little kid, you know, who's being taken care of by their parents. You get to play and have a lot of fun because, yeah, as, as long as you're not interfering with the timekeeping, which is hard to do because the bass, the frequency of the bass, you know, will just keep things in line. Even if you're playing out of time, in some strange way, it creates this interesting texture. So again, as a guitar player moving to bass, you've got to shelve all that. You, and it's hard to do, believe me. Um, if you're a guitar playing bass, and you feel like you're not playing enough notes, you probably are playing the perfect amount of notes. So circling it back to, to you, someone just starting out on bass, you have the advantage of not having to unlearn that stuff, right? You're going to learn the role of the bass, focus on the role, and in my opinion, I think you will excel and become a better bass player faster by focusing just on the bass. So again, no need to learn the guitar. Of course, if you want to, sure. But no need to learn the guitar to become an exceptional bass player. So, advantage. You don't have to unlearn junk, right? You don't have to unlearn the guitar gestures, the guitar way of doing things. You can focus on your main job, timekeeping, um, supporting the harmonic foundation of the band. So, I would just encourage you, if you're looking to start bass, just start and listen to bass players, you know, watch bass players, and then learn your craft. Learn the skills that you need to play well. I um, can't emphasize enough playing with a metronome or drummer, right, to just, because timing is everything. You cannot have, like you cannot have a, a drummer, you cannot have a bass player if you can't play in time. That's, you know, so that's job one. <laughs> if you're struggling with that starting out, that's where you want to spend most of your time. It's got to be spot on, right? That's your job. That's your job. <laughs> All right. Um, so just want to encourage you and kind of maybe put an put a end to maybe your doubts about, you know, if you're beginning bass, should you do some preparatory work in the guitar land? not necessary of course if you want to fine that's its own instrument yeah there are some you know there are some overlaps string instruments yes tune the same intervals yes some of that but after that the roles are completely different so you know stay with your desire and go with it now I'll say one last thing um because you know i don't want to i don't want to um, come down overly hard on guitar players who are now playing bass, you know, kind of out of necessity. Um, but like it, like me, I love to play bass, you know. Sometimes I would play because it was necessary, you know. We had a guitarist and I could play bass. All right. For you guys, for me, you have a difficult job because what we like to do is play jazz bass. <laughs> That's what I call it, you know all over the place too many notes it's hard it's hard and you'll never i don't think ever overcome it all you can do is be aware of it and work on it and try to become a bass player when you have a bass in your hands all right a couple what you know a couple ways you can do that is again work on playing with the drum machine and always keep in mind less is more on the bass less is more just say that to yourself over and over because on the guitar, more is more, right? Usually, more is more. <laughs> more stuff, right? It's the opposite with bass. Less is more. All right, good luck with that. Hope this was helpful. Really look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks for watching.